Hi, this is Vic. On this video, let's pretend we are a new user for their first time logging in and let's create a bill of material and manage uh, some part creation and put that in the default part catalog. I'm signing in. This is what you would do. And you've already validated your email so that you can get into OpenBOM and you'll uh, come to the dashboard and in the dashboard it'll be empty of course because you're now going to manually create your first bomb so when you click that you're going to name your bomb and you can go ahead and give it something uh, meaningful i'm going to create a very simple uh almost uh overly simple little bill of materials here just to uh to show you how easy and flexible open bomb is to use and to create your bill of materials i'm going to add uh, a few properties here. I'm going to add a quantities property. It's going to be a public property. So I'm going to be given as I enter the various uh, choices I have, but I just want quantity and it's a number. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm go I can also create uh, another property just by down clicking and looking at the menu. Uh, and that's just another way of being able to, uh, to create a property rather than just clicking the icon. I'm adding description here and I just add add and then the final property and I'm going to go ahead and click the icon uh, this time I could have uh, just clicked the uh, other little uh, menu but I'm going to enter catalog part number this is the uh, property that I'm going to use to map back to my part catalog I'll show you that in a moment but in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add values to this bill of material. I'm adding a part number. I'm adding the quantity. I'm going to add a description. And uh, just for an e-bike, I'm going to add, just add three items here, a, a seat. I'm going to add uh, a frame and some wheels. So just uh, making up some uh, part numbers here. And uh, this is the frame. And now I'm going to add another uh, item here to the, uh, to the bill of materials. And this is going to be now the wheels, quantity two. And just adding the simple description here of wheels. Now, once I'm done, I'm going to now ensure that I've assigned the default part catalog. That's something that uh, is created with your username. And uh, you can create others part catalogs, but this is your default. And now I'm going to make sure that the catalog part number that is in my bill and material maps back to part number in my default uh, part catalog. And let me go to the default part catalog so you know what I'm talking about. So I'm just going back to the dashboard. Here's the bomb I just created. And if I go to the part catalogs, you'll see that there is my default uh, part catalog. It has my name, Alpleghtebele. And now I am going to just, uh, just show you it's, uh, these are the default properties. Of course, I can add some more properties, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create uh, automatic part numbering. So I have various uh, abilities to add prefixes uh, and range, etc. So I'm just going to add a range. I'm going to start with uh, with 10. It's going to have an increment of 10 every time I add a new part, and it's going to go up to uh, 999. So once I'm happy with the part number setup, I'm going to make sure that I have auto generate part numbers because as I create new parts and add them to the parts catalog, I want the numbers, the part numbers to be automatically generated. So now I go back to my bomb that I manually created earlier. And now you see the catalog part number. This is the uh, part numbers that are going to be created and mapped back in my default part catalog. And this is now you understand why I added catalog part number, because this is going to now be mapping back to my part catalog. Uh, and it's going to keep track of each individual item. So let me show you how to create uh, these parts. So I click the info panel and now I'm going to go to part catalog properties. Now there's none for this item, so I'm gonna create a new part. So when I click this, I make sure that I designate it as my default part catalog. I create a part and you see that a part number has been added. I'll do this now 
for each item in my bill of materials. And each time I got to designate that this is the uh, part catalog that I want to include or add this part to. Here's the last one. And now that I've added it, uh, all the uh, part numbers to this particular bomb, I'm going to go back to my part catalog. Now the beauty is here that I can use these parts in other bill of materials, right? Uh, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add one more property, unit cost, because that's a helpful thing uh, to keep track of. And I'm also now going to populate the catalog with uh, the relevant data. So quantity on hand, the manufacturer name, and I'm going to add uh, the, uh, the unit cost for each item. And I'm going to do that for each one of these uh, part numbers that I've just uh, created. So uh, I'm just making up some names here and some making up some unit costs just for the uh, example. Again, you can add, this will be realistic data in your case. Uh, and I'm going to now add to the final one, uh, just some quantity on hands. Now this quantity on hand, we will manage. Uh, and uh, when we're doing production management, we'll actually uh, use that quantity on hand to generate batches. But that's a subject of another video. But for now, we will uh, go back to the bill of materials we created, the e-bike here. And what I'm going to show you as uh, to complete this is I'm going to bring in properties from the part catalog that I have assigned to this bill of material, I'll click table, which is my default. I'm going to bring in manufacturer name and I'm also going to bring in unit cost. Now, if any of this changes, it'll be reflected in all the bombs that we have uh, this uh, default catalog assigned to. So I have a uh, part catalog that wherever I assign it to whatever bomb, it manages uh, and keeps my data up to speed. If you'd like to learn more, visit www.openbomb.com. Thank you.